Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shoot out a light and when you shoot it, the light turns off. So if you shoot the light, it will break and turn off, which is good for stealth in first person shooters or any type of game. So to start with, I'm going to be using all of the start content provided in the game for the meshes for the light and the light bulbs, etc. So to that I'm going to go to start content, props, and then I'm using the ceiling lamp. So what you're going to want to do is when you find your static mesh, you're going to want to create a blueprint so I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class, and then do an actor. I'm just going to call this light BP. Call it whatever you want. So open that up, and then select your static mesh for the light, minus the ceiling lamp. Go back into the blueprint, and then just search for static mesh in the add component in the top left up here and then add in the lamp static mesh, or the light that you want. And then back in the add component, we're just going to get a light. I'm going to do a spotlight just for the type of lamp this is, but you can do a point light or any kind of lamp light you want. So I'm just going to do that and then move it down into the position that I want it to be in, like so, and then maybe just up the radius a little bit, like so, and then put this up to 20,000 just so that we can easily see it and know that it works. Hit compile and then let's just go straight over to the event graph like so. And then we're going to go off the event actor begin overlap and as the other actor we're going to want to cast to our bullet projectile. So again as I'm just using the first person template mine will be as other actor cast to first person projectile like so and make sure it's all hooked up like that. And this just means that when the first person projectile so the bullet hits the lamp or hits the light blueprint it's going to fire off this line of code afterwards. So then after this, we're going to want to get a reference to our light, so just drag and drop it in from the top left up there, and then just set visibility, like so, and leave it to unchecked. So it's basically turning the light off, or setting it to invisible. And that's pretty much it, but I'm also just going to add in some sound effects and particle effects as well. So after this, we're going to want to spawn emitter at location, and then I'm going to be using the start content for the sparks emitter. So just select that, go back into the blueprint and then use this arrow here to do that. And then I'm also just gonna rotate it on the Y axis by 180 degrees so the sparks are going down rather than up. And then as first person projectile, I'm gonna get actor location so that the emitter is spawned at the location of the light. And then after this, I'm also gonna play sound at location and have the location again as that actor location. So then for the sound what we're going to want to do is just import our glass shattering sound effect or whatever you want. So you can use the one I'm using which I'll have a download link to down in the description below. So you just drag and drop it in, import it like that, make sure it's selected and then come back in and as the play sound at location click this arrow here and after this I'm going to get a delay and set it to 0.5 seconds. And then after this, we're going to want to get the return value from our spawn emitter at location and just do destroy component. And you don't need to do this if you're not using the start content sparks, but I am because this particle would loop otherwise. So I'm just going to set it to 0.5 as that's how long I want it to last and then just destroy it so that it doesn't loop like so. And then we hit compile, close this, and then just drag and drop this blueprint into a scene like so. Just going to move it over here like that and then if we hit play and test this you can walk over to it you see the lights on and if we shoot it the light turns off like that so the light's gone off it played that particle effect the sparks and the sound as well and again the particle effect isn't that good but you'll obviously be able to use your own instead of the start content like I've used so you just shoot it and it turns off like so. Now it doesn't look like it's turned off there, but again, that's just because I'm using the start content. But the light has gone off, if you look down here. You see, that's with the light on, that's with the light off, like so. And because we've done it in a blueprint, we can just drag and drop this in as many times as we want, and just use the same thing over and over again for all of our lights. So if we just do this, come over, turn that one off, turn that one off, and turn that one off, it works for all of them. So I think that'll be it for this video. I've got it to do everything I want it to do. So we can shoot the light, it will turn off the visible light, and it will play the particle effect for the sparks and the sound effect for the glass breaking, 
And like I said, the light will be turned off and we can use this as many times as we want. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.